Today we're going to look at two cars that are very similar spiritually. We have the 2015 Alfa Romeo 4C that is Alfa Romeo's first mid-engine road car. Along with that, we have a 1972 Ferrari Dino GT that was Ferrari's first mid-engine road car. Now, you're probably gonna say, how can you compare a $70,000 Alfa Romeo with a $400,000 Ferrari Dino? This isn't a direct comparison. We're actually kind of looking for how these cars are very similar. And really, the car doesn't have any equals that are on sale right now. It's kind of a crazy car. It's really a throwback to when sports cars were a lot different. It's not really usable as a daily driver, and yet it's not really something that you would call a supercar. The 4C is really a retro car in a different way than what we think of as like a Mini Cooper or Beetles. Those cars are very retro in their styling. The 4C is really retro in its mission. I have no power steering in here. It's a dual clutch transmission, but it isn't a really modern feeling one. This thing is, is still, Alfa Romeo would probably say, uh, very emotional. Um, it really grabs gears. It's, it's not smooth. It doesn't feel at all like an automatic. The seats are, uh, they're pretty supportive. They're, they're not as good as maybe I'd like them to be. Uh, I find when I'm driving this thing, I'm kind of hanging on. It's, it's really loud in here. When you're driving along on the freeway, uh, you would really appreciate maybe a little more noise insulation. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun up here on um, the canyon roads. You hear a lot of turbo noise. You get the whooshing and the, the crackling, and uh, it really kind of connects you to the car. I like this. I like that someone's building a car that is, is very retro in not the styling, but in the feel. Uh, this is very much a classic sports car. Now, it is $70,000. In some ways, it's, it's hard to justify spending that kind of money on a car that is essentially a toy. Now, next year, they'll have the base version of this car, and it'll come in at about $55,000 instead of the seventy. dollars That's definitely going to be a little easier to swallow. Is it going to be as good a car? Probably will. It won't have the performance of this one. Uh, it'll have some smaller tires. It won't have all the equipment. The suspension won't be quite as stiff, and that may be the car to get. So it's actually kind of surprising. This, uh, the steering in this is actually a lot lighter than it is in the 4C. I don't want to say that it, it feels more precise because it it doesn't, but for both cars having manual steering, um, this car has a lot more feel to it, and yet it's got 70 series tires on it. There are definitely uh, similarities between the, the two cars. Uh, first of all, I mean, it has the typical Italian driving position. I just kind of feel like I'm sitting in a chair in my living room. I don't really have a desire to drive this car really fast. Uh, I kind of want to cruise around in it, enjoy the noise. Whereas the, the 4C, it wants to be driven and driven hard. The overall balance of the car, obviously they're both mid-engine, so it, it feels similar in, in that respect. So kind of the first thing that's really obvious uh, in difference between the 4C and the, the Nino is the shifter. I'm a big fan of dual clutch gearboxes, but uh, man, there is something about shifting a Ferrari gated shifter, uh, especially the racing gates where first is down to the left. And so mostly you're working two, three backwards and forwards. The clink from gate to gate, it's, it's heavy, but it's very mechanical nothing feels like it. So we're wrapping up here. We love both cars. You would be happy with either of them. Not everybody can afford a $400,000 Dino. And well, let's be honest, not everybody can afford a $70,000 Alfa Romeo. A lot more people can afford the Alfa. The old car, it has a specialness to it that the new car just can't touch. Maybe in 40 years, the Alfa will feel just as special, but I don't know, I don't think that magic is there. Both are great cars, they're definitely from the same lineage. You would enjoy the hell out of both of them. If you want even more thoughts on it, 
pick up the February issue of European Car Magazine.